This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, where you can receive 25% off your purchase now. Fight me, a fearless expression. What are you willing to fight for? And PowerPerformanceProducts.com, where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv. I'm here at Extreme Couture alongside Jay Haran. Not a free agent, but you are free from Bellator. I know you're, you're happy about that, even though it took a little pretty penny for you. Yeah, it's all good. Finally got the release, and you know now I get to back to doing what I love to do. That's fighting. Talk about what went down with with you leaving Bellator. How all that all that worked out? Um, well, basically, you know what I mean. Um, I don't really want to go deep to detail in it. You know what I mean. It is what it is with that. I got my release. Um, you know, my time spent in Bellator was was for the most part it was good. I got a lot of wins. I got a uh, you know, on got back on TV again, got my sponsor money, and um, you know it was the right move at the point at that point in my career. I felt it was the right thing. You know, me and my uh, manager, and um, you know now we're at this point. I get to got my release, fighting for Legacy Fighting. You know, which uh, great group of guys. They got a lot of tough fighters, and I'm happy to be a part of that right now. And you know, that's just the next step in my career. Yeah, talk about your opponent, what you know about him going down uh, in July. Um, Mike, he's a Greek guy, uh, um, tough guy. You know, he likes to come in and swing. Um, he switches stances a lot, um, throws a lot of kicks. Um, well, I'm ready. I'm ready for whoever right now, you know. Uh, I just, I'm just happy to be back in there, you know. It's been a while again. You know, uh, everybody knows the situation the year before with, uh, you know, the strike force thing and then, you know, obviously Bellator, I haven't fought for a little while, but you know, I'm, I'm healthy, which is, which is first and foremost, which is, which is great. You know, been in the game a long time, 10 years, and I'm still waking up every day like I want to do this. You know, I still got that hunger. I always say, once that goes, that's when I'm step back from it. But I still wake up every day. All the boys got fights coming up. I'm in here, you know, trying to help the boys out, trying to get myself sharp, and I still love it. You know, and yeah, you're a staple. Every time I come in here, which is pretty frequently, you're you're the guy who is always here, always grinding. I love it. You know, I love to train. You know, this is the number one, my number one stress reliever, mm -hmm. is coming in the gym. Anything going on in my life, I could come in here, I could sweat out all my problems, my issues, and I'm a new man. I go take a shower upstairs, I rinse it off. I'm a new man. Yep. So. And also that helps for me in my career and also it helps when I'm going through controversial stuff in my in my life, you know, in my career, in my life and just helps me get through everything. So I've turned to my training and, and that's my uh, that's my niche. That's my out, my way I get out my stuff. Your time in Bellator, I mean, I thought it proved we know you can compete at the highest level against some of the best in there. Do you feel like you didn't lose? I mean, I know you feel like you won the fight against Ben, and that was a, a very controversial decision. Yeah, I definitely felt like I, I won that fight. Um, you know, I have after the fight, I was a little down, but I got nothing but positive feedback from fans, from fighters, from everybody that watched it. Um, you know, I was going into that fight to booze. You know, it was his hometown. I had people you know, pretty much sticking their middle finger up at me. And after, you know, the same group of people, you know, trying to pat me on my back. So that was pretty good feeling, you know, winning the crowd over. But I still feel like uh, everything happens for a reason. And maybe I didn't win, you know, on paper, I didn't win that fight for a reason. And, you know, now I'm here competing in a different organization. And, you know, I'm going to try to get where I want to be, you know, and that's to the top. Yeah. Still waiting. For, hopefully, you were talking about you want maybe a short notice fight with the UFC is something that that might come about here as well. Definitely. You know, I'm, I'm ready um, at any time. You know, they call me. Um, I'll, you know, I'll drop what I'm doing and jump at the opportunity, jump at the shot to get back in there. And that's it. Uh, by all means, I'm not begging or on my knees trying to do nothing like that. Twitter, this and that. That's that's to me is, is irrelevant. That's kind of like you know, downplaying yourself. Yep. I'm gonna just let my skills do the talking and when they call, when I, they will come calling and that, that, that's it, that's when I'll be in there. Yep. Talk about how the guys look going into their fights. You know, you got Martin, uh, Mike Pyle as well. Got fights coming up, big fights. Yeah, Pyle's looking great, Campbell's looking great. They always look good. Um, um, you know, it's been um, 
a lot of good guys in the gym right now. Everybody got fights coming up, and um, I'll be with Campman in a week. I think he's fights in about a week. You know, he's ready to go. He's always game, you know. All you got to do is punch him in the mouth, and you know what I mean? It's on. <laughs> he's a born fighter. Uh, Kyle, he's ready to go, too. He's looking sharp as ever. You know, everybody's motivated. Everybody's, you know, just in that peak phase, you know, right there on the chomping at the bits, ready to just jump in the cage and, and let them go. All right. Anything else you want to say, Jay? Um, just keep a lookout for me. Uh, my fight's July 13th, Legacy Fighting, HD Net. Check me out. Thanks for the support. Thank you for having me. All right. Jay Haran, look for him, like you said, July 13th. I'm Spencer Lazar. You're watching MMAinterviews.tv. Godspeed and party on.